been a crazy couple weeks, guys, to say the least. Two major hurricane landfalls in the United States in a week and a half, two weeks. I'm pretty sure that's never happened before. So before we get into the meat of this video, I really just want to say shout out and my thoughts are with all those in Florida and that whole coastline that got affected by Hurricane Irma. I know it was a big one. And my thoughts are also with the people who continue to be affected by Hurricane Harvey. Just starting out there, thoughts are with all of you guys because I know it is definitely a tough time. I actually went down to Rockport and helped try to clean up and do a little bit to help support that area. My buddy's trailer park got completely destroyed by the eye wall of the hurricane. He was right across from Cove Harbor. So I went down there and I got to see the destruction firsthand and try to help clean up. And it was definitely a sobering experience to see all of that damage to Port Aransas and to Rockport. They got hit really hard. But it was also really good to see the outpouring of support for those areas. There was a lot of supplies down there. There were a lot of people trying to help out. And I hope that that continues going into the future. So again, thoughts are with that area as well as those who just got affected by Hurricane Irma. But I guess I'm making this video to try to get back to a sense of normalcy for people. The number one question I've been getting is, how is the hurricane going to affect the fishing? And I hope that maybe being able to get back out on the water and hopefully be successful on the water will help you guys get back to a sense of normalcy. Now, the number one thing that I will say is the fish are still there, they are still hungry, and they are still going to eat. You might have to change your tactics up a little bit to catch them, but I promise you the fish are still there and you can still go out there and have a successful day on the water. Now the main effect that you are going to see is basically the bottom structure might change. When the hurricane comes in, it actually sucks all the water out of the bay system and it'll throw all that water back in. There's a lot of storm surge, there's a lot of wind, there's a lot of currents. I think you've probably seen pictures on social media of all the water being sucked out of the bays and then thrown back into it. It's definitely a crazy sight to see and that will change the bottom structure of where you fish. Basically the sand and the silt that's on the seafloor is going to get churned up, it's going to dirty the waters that you're fishing, and it might redistribute the bottom structure and make it a little bit different than what you're used to. Shallow parts might be deeper, deeper parts might get shallower. If you're going out in a boat, I would definitely be careful and take it slow because some areas, like I said, might be shallower than you're used to. There might be trash, there might be new sunken boats in the area. Just be careful because the bottom structure might change because of all the currents and all that storm surge that churned up the bottom. So for the marsh fishermen, you might see more silt and more mud in the marsh for a little while. It might make it shallower. You're the front of your marsh might have gotten a little bit too much silt buildup. You might not have the current flow through the marsh that you had before. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't been to too many as of right now, but uh, I do know the redfish are still in the marsh. So. Um, that didn't affect them too much, but you got to go out and check on your holes. You might notice that the depth of your marshes are a little bit different than they were before. I guess now I'm going to go into more individual things along the entire coast of Texas at least, and you can probably apply these to you guys in Florida who are interested to see how this will affect your fishing. I'm going to start in South Padre Island. I don't think you guys got affected too much. You didn't get too much rain. You got some wind. You might have had a little bit of storm surge because the waves were churned up by that thing in the Gulf. But I think your fishing is relatively normal. I really wouldn't change what you do. You might have a little bit dirtier water down there. So maybe change your lures slightly from that. But other than that, you guys should be pretty much the same. From Port Mansfield up to Corpus Christi, like I said, pins, the sandbars in that area got churned up. So uh, there might be a little bit harder to find the sandbars in that area. But I think the trout are still on the surf in that area. So that might be a good place to fish. Now in the bay system of Corpus Christi, I was out there and the one thing that I can tell you right off the bat is the water is a lot dirtier than it usually is down there. There's still a lot of floating grass and the water is dirtier and it might take a little while for the water to get cleaned up in that area. But the way we caught fish out there was gold spoons, popping corks, and top waters. They're still eating those. When you have that dirtier water, you want something with vibration that those fish can key in on and start feeding on. You also might want to throw live bait. It might be a really good way to catch fish right now because like I said, they're not really going to be feeding on sight as much when the water is dirtier. So if you want to throw lures, throw flashy lures or something with a lot of vibration and if you're throwing bait, it's a good way to catch fish right now. And also, when we were out there catching fish, they were very scattered. They weren't congregated in any way. So you might have to work and move around to find your fish because they are pretty scattered, but the fact of the matter is they're still on those flats, they're still on the grass flats, and they're still eating in that area. 
Then you move up to the Matagorda Bay system. Matagorda Bay, um, it definitely is a little bit dirtier. There's a little bit more fresh water in that area, but I know those redfish are in the marsh. There's still trout to be found. They might not be sitting on the top because there might be a little layer of fresh water, but the trout are still in that bay system as well. And I know the redfish are very hungry and there's a lot of them in that marsh. I've seen a lot of stuff coming out of that area. So um, your, again, your marshes might have gotten a little bit more silt in them. They might be a little bit dirtier, but the redfish are still there. Now the major difference is once you get up into the Houston area. That area got so much rain, over 50 inches of rain in some places, and all those bayous are now draining all into the Galveston Bay system. You're going to have chocolate milk waters for a while, and that water is almost completely fresh. Now the redfish, they don't tend to mind that fresh water, so they are still in those marshes. So all you, my Galveston dudes, I promise you the redfish are still in the marshes. Use your top waters, use your dark colored lures. Um, that's what I'd be throwing in those marshes right now, and I've seen a lot of pictures of the redfish in the marsh, and they are still eating. Now that freshwater probably pushed those trout out into the gulf, but the fact of the matter is there are a lot of trout in the surf right now. I've seen a ton of pictures of people catching trout in the surf in the Galveston area and on those shorelines. I'm thinking that freshwater pushed all of those trout out of the passes and into the surf, and I think that is your best way if you want to target trout to go ahead and do so. So if you have any particular questions, I'd leave them in the comments below. If you guys have an answer to those questions, go ahead and answer them. If you're in a particular area, let us know what you're catching them on. Well, let's help everybody get out there and get back on the fish and get through this time, get a little bit sense of normalcy back to our lives. All you Florida guys, I'm not exactly sure. I think you can apply a lot of this to those areas. If you guys know what's going on in that area, leave them in the comments below, help out other people as well. Uh, now I want to get into Bull Red Run real quick. I think it's going to be fantastic. I'm going to be out there. I think it's. I don't think it's going to affect the Bull Red Run at all. I think they're going to be running very well this year. You're going to hit the pass jetty, the surf. They're going to be schooled up in the bay. For some reason, I just. I don't think this is going to affect them very much. It actually might be a better Bull Red Run this year. That's what I think is going to happen. I'm hoping that's what happens. And I'm going to go out there and catch a bunch of them on lures this year for you guys. And uh, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. For you Florida guys, I'm not sure how this is going to affect the mullet run. I think it happened early enough that it shouldn't affect the mullet run that much. So I think your mullet run is going to be okay. That usually happens you know, in the coming month. And then again, the Bull Red Run for Texas at least, you're looking at mid-September to like mid-November. should really be like October is my favorite month to fifth fish for redfish so that should be what you guys are looking forward to and by then i think we'll be back to normal and fishing should be a-okay so yeah guys before we go i'm going to leave links in the description for the you caring for jj watt which is a i know that money's going to go exactly where it needs to go and also for tim duncan he started a page for helping the u.s virgin islands who took a direct category 5 hurricane irma hit so i'm going to leave that link as well if you can give that's a good way to go because i know those guys are going to get the money exactly where it needs to go uh, things are going to get back to normal now. I have more time to edit. I'm going to be able to edit the videos. I just did a collaboration with Thresher and Jeff. If you follow us on Instagram, you uh, kind of know what we did a little bit. Be on the lookout for those videos. I know it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to be editing those, and those are going to come out very, very soon. So be on the lookout for those. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you guys next time.